What's happening ladies and gentlemen, this is Min from Architecture Inspirations. Today I'm going to show you how to create architectural renders in Lumion 10 in 3 minutes. Let's get started. As architects and designers, sometimes we do not have a lot of time to spend on rendering images for our projects. However, with Lumion's new 5-step system, you can easily create photorealistic renders in just a few minutes. Step 1. Select a 3D model. To start, click on New and select the 3D model of your project. Lumion supports many types of 3D formats, but in this case, I will be using a SketchUp model. Feel free to test it with your own model and follow along. Step 2. Select a template. In Lumion 10, there are several new templates that have been added to the collection. These include the forest environment, the tropical environment, and the suburban environment. I will choose the suburban environment template. It will take a while to load depending on the complexity of the template and the size of your model. There we go! You can see that our model has been loaded and placed in the origin of the template. Sometimes you may need to move your model around a bit so that it's in a good spot, but I'm pretty happy with the position of my model, so I can click here to move it back to the original position. It's important to know that this template only works with houses similar to the size or smaller. If it's too big, then it will look out of place. As you can see, this is a new style of templates that includes assets such as trees, cars, and people already added to the scene. So we are ready to create images immediately after import. Step 3. Create Images To create images, click here to go to the photo mode. Here you can see that this template already has a few different views of the model setup, such as a daytime view, a nighttime view, an aerial view, and another view from a different angle. In addition, you can always add new views as you need, or make changes to existing views. Step 4. Adding and making changes to the styles. The views included in a template already has a style applied to them, so you can render immediately, but feel free to add a new style or make changes to it, such as adjusting the sun angle. But in this case, I would change the real skies to a different image. This sunset sky looks pretty good. If you've noticed, Lumion will render our image whenever we hover over the preview window. This is possible because of a new feature in Lumion 10 called High Quality Preview. This really helps us know what it will look like when it's finished rendering. You can turn it on and off by going to the settings and click on this icon here. I like this new feature a lot, so I will leave it on. Next, let's add some styles to the image. Here you can see that the custom style is selected. If you click on it, you will see that Lumion has provided lots of presets for you to try, such as realistic, interior, daytime, color sketch, watercolor, etc. You can try any of these for your render. For example, let's try the realistic style. As you can see, a style is essentially a stack of effects that is optimized for quick use. Alternatively, you can copy the style settings from one of the previous images and paste it on the new one. Step 5. Render Images When you are happy with your views, you can click here and start rendering your images. Here you can choose the quality as well as the additional outputs. You also have the option to render multiple images. And there we go! That's how you can create renderings in Lumion in 3 minutes. I think my renders turned out pretty good, and I hope yours did too. If you liked this video, then check out my other two videos in this series. I will cover new features and a more in-depth workflow to show you what can be done when you have more time for rendering. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment below and let me know what you think of Lumion 10. Stay inspired guys, and I'll see you next time.